he had a dissolent report in uh-huh. his hand, Barroso, which implicated the confessor of yours, mm. and which cited so far unproved uh, circumstantial evidence against you. Mm-hmm. But having this report in his hand, what other option did he have than ask for your, your resignation? No, first of all, one has to see how this uh, report was developed. Today, we have facts in our hands coming from evidence that uh, Swedish match personnel themselves gave Olaf. Therefore, this was in Olaf's hand as well, saying that before Swedish match even made their allegations in writing, their lobbyist, Michel Petit, was in contact with Catherine Day, the Secretary General, the chief civil servant in Europe. And they communicated together. And the first step to send the allegations to Catherine Day herself was naturally agreed between them. Therefore, they have reviewed what the allegations of Swedish match were. They have probably um, made a, let's say, preliminary decision of uh, my guilt and anybody's guilt before even the allegations were made. Now, this is completely unethical and completely wrong. Also, the context between a lobby, a tobacco lobbyist and the commission. So uh, it started in that way. The basis of these allegations that were made by Swedish match, I still don't have them. I've asked to have them in writing, and it was refused by Olaf. But it was based on a lie. The whole basis of the allegation was a lie. It was based on it. And they knew it was a lie. And when he talked to me, Barroso knew that it was all based on a lie, even though then the law report said that the second meeting of the 10th of February never happened, etc., etc. But they tried to concoct an idea that something happened on the 10th of February. I mean, and if you go through the Olaf report, one can say the length at which they tried to stretch I mean, uh, situations to come to a conclusion that they wanted to make. And that is the Olaf report. The Olaf report is like reading something with a preset conclusion and then trying to put a lot of pegs in the holes so that they prove the conclusions they had beforehand. So I believe that the answer to your question is what Bart Stice of the Greens is saying. Why did not Barroso make sure that when he had such an important issue, he had the dignity of a commissioner at stake, he had the dignity of the commission at stake? What are you expecting now from No, no, but let, let me continue this. Why didn't he make sure that once he had the report in his hand, he told Olaf, look, go through the supervisory authority which is set up on purpose to ensure that Olaf works in the, right, in the right direction and make sure that things were done in the proper way. Bart Stice continues. Now, it's his words, not mine. He said that had Barroso had the supervisory opinion, which we know today, would he have taken the same decision? So or, or, even I, with, the, with, this, with this idea okay, that with that report in hand, what could Barroso have done? I say, could have gone he, could have, he could, first of all, have verified as the procedures dictate. This is not something new or something invented. As the procedures dictate, he could have gone through this process of scrutiny, which was set up to scrutinize Olaf. And then also, I have my doubts on how all these things was developed. For example, I'll give you another example. Olaf is supposed to be independent. How many telephones did Olaf have from the commission, from Barroso and his cabinet and Catherine Day, to tell him when he's going to finish with the, with the report? The last one we know he had was on the 5th of October, when Barroso was in Malta, talking During to the, the five, five, five. Five, five meeting. Always asking, when is the report? What hurry did they have for this report to, 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 uh, to finish? Now, they probably did they know what the conclusions were going to be beforehand? And did they know that this would stop the tobacco directive that I was working on? So this is all the questions that have to be 